Hey, what's up everybody? This is Papa Bell. I'm just getting off work. Welcome to the channel. And I was just, uh, I thought I'd run an experiment with all nine uh, coils hooked up like uh, you know when it's just the three coils it goes really fast but I can like stop it with my stick here That's got a lot of force. And I can still stop it, but it's like got more torque. Now it's not going that fast, and it's, it's true that when there's uh and there's a lot of load on this too, and then each capacitor that's hooked up in between, I got them in between each coil now, so it's like <clears throat> Should feed like a pulse. Uh, probably not going to do exactly what I wanted to do, but hmm, should be good. <clears throat> now, I was discussing in another video that I did what I want to have happen is it's only pulse on these three coils: the green one. That one millimeter one and this big one over here <clears throat> all the other ones should be purely used to gener generate energy for the capacitance help generate energy for the capacitance because those three coils will do the same will do it as well now what I want to have happen is make it so there's no load And if there is a load for it to be, you know, not significant on the rotor, you know, the rotor's going really slow right now because all nine coils are pushing. See? And that was that was a decent amount of force, but I'm not trying to like break anything, so I am not trying to break it. That would be pretty cool though. To just put some force on that. You know, I was forcing see these little glue marks? Some of them filled in these holes. And I needed to use some of those holes because I built a shape around the rotor. And then I wound some coil around it. It didn't work. But, you know, I, like right here. That little hole right there has got glue in it. And I had to force. Oh, that's not a hole. That, that one is, though. I had to force the glue through. So that I could use the hole. I know that's boring, but yeah, it was it was worth it because I got to see that it didn't work, and then I didn't continue. Once I see that something doesn't work at all, it's like, all right, we're done. We're done here. But you know, it's it's always cataloged and archived and all that jazz. It's kind of what these videos are about. I mean, a little bit. I like running. It just came on to me like a year ago. Maybe more. But, you know, recently. To do these experiments. So, the objective or the point. The point is to figure it out, man. The point is to... Fuck around until you figure this shit out. You don't read a book. You can read a book, and if that's how you learn, then more power to you to read a book. But, I mean, that's not what I do. 
It's not what I've been doing. Anyway. And once I figured out how to put all this stuff together, I did. I did it. It's rudimentary, no doubt. But... Yeah, it's uh, truly amazing. So I'm going to keep you posted on this circuit here. And what it will do is it will allow those to stay where they're at. Charge up the capacitance three times as good as if it was just the three coils. And I'll have three groups. So you'll have one two, three, with uh, two capacitance, and then one, two, three, with two capacitance, and one, two, three, with two capacitance, and then there'll be two more capacitance, which I will put at the end of that black cord um, wire so it'll be directly from the transformer to the capacitance to the coil that's what it's supposed to be but we will see we will see I love how fast it's spinning though it's so peaceful Yeah, man, and each, like, each one of those, wow, I just, I want, I wish I could determine, you know, how much energy is actually being generated from this right here. You know what, I'm going to, I'm going to hook up my multimeter. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get a readout of 135. But yeah, um, here's the multimeter. All right. Have a good night. Peace out. I'm going to make another video with multimeter readings. So stay tuned.